What do you need to write your book as integral part of your vision? Hello, my name is Sigurd Kast. I believe that every woman in business has a valuable story to tell, expertise to share, and that sharing that story and expertise through a book can elevate your leadership, your authority, and make a huge impact in the world. So in this video today, I want to share with you three parts or three pieces that are really important that I'd like you to know before you go ahead and start with your book, even before you start writing. Now, lots of people just jump in, they have an idea and they get started. And I really would like to take as much information out there to you to know this before you get started because once you've get started and you haven't applied these three areas or you don't know about these three areas it can really make or break the success of your book at the at the time that uh, that you publish it and you take it out there to share it with the world now i'm sure but I'll ask you again, do you have a vision that you want to share with more people? And um, you already know that a book is the top way to do so. If you do, then this is the right video for you to watch. Embarking on the journey of writing a book to share your vision takes more than just inspiration to write. Now, quite often people will tell me, especially women, my inspiration will guide me. I will write this book with my inspiration. And that is absolutely wonderful, but it does take more. You want your book to hold the potential to amplify your message, elevate that experience that you have, that expertise, and leave a lasting impact on the world. You know, you need to write it in that way. It doesn't just happen by itself. The book can really be a powerful vehicle through which you can share your unique insights. You can inspire, you can inspire change, and you can really contribute to the larger narrative that might be already going on out there in the world about the topic that you want to write about, about the message that you have. You can really make a difference with a book. You see, by weaving your story and your knowledge and the passion that you have into the pages of your book, you really can align your creative expression with your vision, bringing it all to life in a really tangible and impactful way through your book. That book can become when you know about these three things I'm about to share with you. Your book can truly become a cornerstone of your legacy, a testament to your dedication to what you do, and also a beacon that guides, guides others towards transformation. So right now, let's go into what I want to share with you. If you want you know, if you're thinking about writing a book and you have a vision, the first thing I encourage you to look at is what outcome do you want to achieve with your book? You have your vision, whatever that vision is, what do you actually want the book to achieve with you or for you? Another question I want you to ask yourself is, how do you see your book in achieving that outcome for you? So it might sound like the same, but they are quite different things and they will give you different results when you're asking yourself those questions. Your vision, what outcome do you want to achieve with that? And how do you see your book in helping you achieve that outcome? So, for example, are you thinking about your book attracting new clients to you 
Or do you want your book to be a kind of a do-it-yourself workbook for people doing the work that you do normally with people, but for those who do want to do it themselves and keeping you free from more clients because you really have enough clients, but sharing your knowledge and expertise in a book, that is a slightly different approach. Do you want your book to bring you new opportunities to speak perhaps? to be invited to, to do interviews. With clarity on what exactly you want your book to do for you, the path to writing that book is laid out actually straightforward and very simple for you. Really, there is no writing without having an end in mind. And yet I do know so many people who do so. They're not really clear or they just have a very vague idea what that's going to look like once their book is published. It's an imagination that I have this vision. It's really strong. <clears throat> There is so much power in my vision and I know that it needs to get out there. I have this feeling, this inner voice tells me to absolutely perfectly fine. That is what works. That is when you need to start. But to achieve the outcome or a outcome with your book, you really want to focus on planning for it. Even highly knowledgeable women write a book. And often they use the outdated way to do so. It takes them a very long time to write, even longer when they're getting it published and they don't really know what goes into that pass. And then if they do have it published the outdated way or with somebody doing it for them, all of a sudden publishing's happened, launches happened, and everything stops. There might be some, you know, sales, a good amount of sales at the launch. They might have a launch party. People congratulate you on the book. But often that is it. Nothing more later on happens. So the first thing I want you to know, what you need to know, or what this is what you need to know while you are writing your book. You see, when you start planning before writing and you have a really clear outcome of what you want that book to achieve for you, then you can easily estimate the time that you will need to write your book. That is something you can estimate when you start with a plan. And working with me, for example, you then have the time when you know how long it's going to take you to write, you have the time to work on planning. Planning your marketing is definitely one very important thing to do. You can plan out in detail how you're going to use your book. You'll know who your reader will be and you can start connecting with them already at that early stage. You also have time to set up everything you need for publishing your book. You can start looking at who you'll invite to write an endorsement, for example, what type of testimonials you might use. You can set up how you would introduce your book so that you always, you know, got that ready at hand. You don't have to search for it or write it new each time. It's really useful when somebody comments, when people comment, if you're putting content out there, when you have that ready, you have got pieces of information ready that you know are about your book, are about you. And all you need to do is post it, might just adjust it slightly. That's all, those are all parts that I work with clients on when they get my help to do that. It's also useful um, to start creating perhaps videos, you know, preparing what they might look like, what information might go in there to promote your book, to promote yourself. You see, so many people leave that to last. Now, that makes the time it will take to hold your book in your hand really long in most cases. It is so far away to get ready and you just, just focus on the writing and on nothing else 
But when you prepare all of this while you write, because you know what to write, you know how much and what not to write or what not to put into your book, that really cuts your time frame to what is necessary to achieve the outcome that you set yourself to achieve with your book. Um, this preparation work wants to be done, as I said, before you start. And that's the first thing I want you to know about and that I'm sharing with you today. Now, the second thing is, Oops, where's the second thing? Oh, I think I've just mixed myself up here. I put some notes together for you so I stay on track. Otherwise, I'll go right off. But knowing what that end in mind is that you want to achieve is key. And that is really what you want to get started with. The second thing is what you need to do while you are already writing the book. So the first one is to have that outcome in mind. Absolutely start that vision that you have, whatever it is, needs to be clear so that you know what you want to achieve with the book. The second part is, I've already touched on the second part, what you need to do while you're writing. And that is, as I said, to already prepare your marketing, how you are going to promote your book, what goes into all of that. And we're already at the third part for what I'd like you to know today, if you are going to make your book uh, an integral part of your vision to get your vision out there into the world, into the global space. The third part is that once you are published, how are you going to share that your book is published? So as I said earlier, often people just go through the writing part, the phase of just writing, focusing so much on that, then they stop and then it takes them a long time to decide how does this publishing work, how do I have to go about it. So the whole time frame stretches out immensely to get the book ready and into your hand. But when you focus on everything beforehand, you're cutting that time down and you're also cutting down the time it takes to write your book. Now, most people leave everything to last, especially the marketing. And then when it's time after publishing, after their launch, then they go about this outdated way of looking at you. How am I going to now market my book? I get messages like, I finished my book, it's a bestseller, but now I need marketing. Can you help me with marketing my book? I get messages like that still quite frequently. If the book was designed without a clear purpose to be achieved, marketing your book after the fact, when it is finished, published, it becomes difficult it takes a lot of time and money and you will lose interest. It then becomes something, your book then becomes something you will mention only rarely. Again, I do know that I am in touch with lots of people, especially lots of women who've written a book. They were proud of it initially, but then they couldn't really move it. The only outcome that they saw for their book was to make book sales and they were there initially and then it stopped. There was no more afterwards. You see, when I ask, you know, when you've planned beforehand how you're going to share your book, what it is going to do. So myself, for example, when I first ever started writing a book, I started like that. So I know what it is like. I've experienced that. You know, I I just started writing, 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 writing. And I had no real idea other than that I had this vision. I wanted to share an expertise at the time that I had around working with teams and in employing people into my business. I wanted to share that vision for smaller businesses so they would know that, yes, there was a step that they were actually missing in their business. But I wasn't clear on what 
actual outcome I wanted to achieve. So all that writing took forever. I got fed up with writing. I engaged a, um, a ghostwriter and paid quite a lot of money for that. And I didn't like any of it in the end. So I just threw it away and started all over again. So I do know it is absolutely easy to make mistakes. And when you don't know what you don't know, absolutely can at all go not quite the way you were hoping for. So hope is great. We all need some hope. But planning is better. When you plan, you know what you want to achieve and you can work towards that. That's really important. Now, sometimes people say, oh, I just want a book, you know, to generate leads, perhaps. That's quite vague and it really wouldn't give you people coming to you because they've read your book. Leads is, is, is on a different level. If you really want to show and elevate your, your leadership, your authority, that expert that you are, then, then that is not a good way of looking at it. There's a much better way to looking at writing in a way so that people really get to know you in your book, that the vision that you share in there attracts them to want to come and work with you. Now, you know, loads of people also then focus on book sales. And again, that is the really outdated way of thinking about your book. Yes, I know it's all over out there in the media and it's always been said, oh, million dollar book sales, millionaire with, you know, selling books all over the world, book sales coming, coming, coming. But that applies in certain circumstances, not necessarily for you. You really want to focus on a more powerful way to have your book achieve an outcome. And that is, you know, you really want to know how do you want to attract people and plan for that, how that's going to work. So focusing on book sales is not the best and certainly not the most profitable way to write your book and have that in mind to achieve. You want to have a story prepared around your book, around your expertise, where you wrote the book, what you wrote your book about, so that you can talk about that, your vision, and you can integrate that into all of your marketing from the moment or even before the book is already published. It becomes part of your overall vision and part of your story, your business, your business story. Sometimes people say, oh, well, you know, I Googled how to market my book and I got all these tips here. But that will only get you so far because those tips will be generic. They're not necessarily for your specific circumstances. For example, I used this tactic or technique, marketing approach with one of my books. I sent the book specifically to the people I knew I wanted to attract as clients. I sent the book as a gift, gift wrapped with a note. I followed that up with a phone call. My phone calls were happily taken because the people were very impressed with having received my book. From 10, I have these statistics because I kept those from 10 sent out, five did turn in the first week of having that book out there, of having published that book. Five turned into contracts. And I had $25,000 return on my investment and the time and money I spent on getting that book out there. So that was a very powerful, purposeful outcome that I achieved with one of my books. Because after all those initial hurdles and mistakes and misunderstandings and outdated way of looking at writing a book, when I was over that and I worked up my own framework, how to write, publish a marketing optimized book, that's how I got that return on my investment straight away. So Googling is only a really um, sideline thing. I would not recommend to follow all of those tips and ideas uh, unless you really know what your own 
outcome as you want to achieve and you can fit those tips and ideas into the outcome that you are planning to achieve. So writing your book to share your vision and integrate that into your entire business, you want to integrate marketing entirely from the start before you start writing. So in other words, write a marketing optimized book. That's what I call it. And that is how I show clients what to do. So a quick recap before I uh, let you go from this video. Today, in this video, I've been sharing with you what you need to write your book as an integral part of your vision. I shared with you three ideas, three tips, three things to know. What you absolutely should know before you start writing, and that is the planning, the entire process of planning out what you want to achieve with your book. The second part is what you need to do while you are writing your book, and that is already going through creating your marketing assets, your marketing plan, working out what your marketing actions are going to be, putting together things like how you are going to talk about your book and about yourself, about your vision, mentioning your book, all of that is part of what you can do while you are writing your book, while you're putting it together. Because when you have planned your book correctly for an outcome, you know how long your writing part will take. And so you have time to do the other parts while you write. And the third thing I shared with you today in this video is how to share your book once it is published. So don't leave it to the last. Already be prepared. Know how you are going to market, promote your book with the clear purpose that you set out at the very beginning. So if you are ready to write your book or you may already have started and now you have a new insight into how to keep going about it further. If you'd like my help, do contact, contact me directly and I'll share my marketing optimized book writing framework with you so you can really get a glimpse of that. Wonderful to be with you here today, Sigurd Cast, and I'll see you again soon.